Hello, Internet. My name is Mark. I'm a computer science and psychology student at NYU, and uh, I'm trying to make a game. <laughs> so I've been I've been doing code and stuff for a while, um, and you know, recently I made a, I made a video about it a few weeks ago. But recently, um, I want to get back into game development. You know, I, that's why I got into coding and stuff in the first place. Um, and so I revisited this idea. A friend of mine told me we talked about. We flushed it out ever so slightly. We got some characters and stuff done. Um, I'll, you know, throw that up there a little bit. But, anyway, uh, try not to make this too convoluted. I'm looking to make a game. Uh, and in college, you know, some people have a lot of time, some people don't have much time. Right now, I feel like I have enough time to devote to this. I've devoted time uh, I, on my calendar. I put Friday from 11 to 3, and then Saturday is 11 to 3, just game development. Um, although tomorrow's a little different because How to Train Your Dragon 3, uh, I'm going to an early showing. Heesh, I'm really bad at this. Calling this an indie game devlog, I guess. More or less solo at the moment. Uh, that might change in the future, but I've got some tasks for me for today. Um, and none of it involves code. Now, chances of me, you know, hitting all these things is really low, so, you know, carry over tomorrow to Saturday. A lot of it is just, you know, flushing out story and stuff, because, you know, story is the most important aspect of a game, in my opinion. Um, you know, it can look great, it can run flawlessly, but if you don't have a story for it... I mean, some games aren't meant to have a story, like Break, uh, Break, like Brick or Pong or whatever, but, um, trying to make a story-centered game. So, I've never, first of all, I've never made a game before, I've never really dove into this field, so... I've been kind of hesitant to start this devlog thing, um... Because today's my first like official day. I've done a little bit of art in the background for the past few months, given them some thought, but now I'm like really devoting time to it. Anyway, now that I've said devoted time multiple times, um, I found this cool like free music software, super easy to use, that I'm gonna try to experiment with today. Um, gonna go try to define like specific character choices. Um, me and my friend, we've kind of come up with main characters. I'm gonna see if I can sketch some character art. Originally, we wanted to do, or I wanted to do, like, a sprite game, kind of, um, similar to the style of either Terraria or Stardew Valley or something. My cinematography skills need work. Um, but then I, I was like, I, maybe I can use my 3D skills, because uh, I know Blender a little well. So, you know, Link to the Past, uh, sorry, Link Between Worlds style, where it's, like, top-down, but things are also sort of slanted. It's kind of cool how they did it. I'm gonna see if I can, you know, work on sketching a specific level. Um, maybe like the opening bit, write some dialogue and narration again for just the opening bit. Uh, I think it's important that, you know, for a while I kind of thought that you should have the whole story flushed out. Uh, but I think for right now, because I'm learning how to do this, I'm gonna go for more of a, more of like an opening level and, you know, try to see what I can do. Uh, I'm gonna probably use Unity for this, whether I go 2D or 3D, um, so, and I am, um, Pretty good with C Sharp at this point, because um, you know Unity supports Java, but mm, and then story writing as well. You know, for now, um, I don't really know how I'm gonna put this together. I don't know if this weekend will be one video. I don't know if it'll be this weekend, next weekend. Maybe time lapse myself for parts of it. I'm not sure. Nonetheless, it is 11:06 right now, uh, February 1st, so I'm gonna get started. And I'm gonna start off by just messing with this music software for a bit. I you know, just see how far I can get and you know what I can come up with because I've really done nothing with it. So, just experiment a bit, because, you know, mu music's gonna be my weak point. Um, actually, just real quick, I'm gonna just say that. I feel like my my advantage to making a game will be programming, because I have quite a bit of experience in a few different libraries, a few different languages, but using an engine is relatively new. Art, I'm not great at art, uh, but I'm, I don't know, I'm on, a, I guess, a good curve. Uh, I just have to spend time. Uh, I know a little, you know, some 3D, I've done some 3D work, some animations and stuff. Most of which I won't show, I'm still not, you know, one of those things where it's like you're only proud to show what you've made in the past that was really bad until you get some somewhere you're proud of. Uh, maybe one day I'll go through that. Story writing I think is another strong suit of mine, so I'm gonna lean into that heavily. Uh, lean into that and programming, maybe some pretty cool mechanic, but I'm gonna lean into storytelling heavily. Find some emotion to hit, you know? Uh, and then music. Music is gonna be interesting. I've been playing the piano for several years. I can read music pretty well. Coming up with it, not so much. My theory is pretty bad. Uh, so I'm probably gonna open my chord book. Anyway, it's late enough. I've done enough talking. Um, let's see how it goes. Something else I just want to throw out there real quick. Um, on the time I don't spend in this game development block of time I put on my calendar, it's, you know, I'm still working on Unity and stuff. Um, in about a week, probably, uh, two or three weeks, I think, there's a week-long game jam I'm participating in, so I might record doing that, or doing that and then make that into a video. Not for the devlog. Um, 
but also kind of, I don't know where to start. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm just starting somewhere because I think that's the most important part. Uh, and, you know, maybe that'll help someone. Maybe my experience will help someone out there know where to start, uh, at least better than I can. So, anyway, <laughs> on to some music. I usually listen to music when I work, but I can't while I do this. Dude, what if we did something really high, like something that goes with the what? A in there. Oh, that! Oh, ow! That was so high pitched. I really hate the tinniness of this piano. <laughs> like what? Deep piano one. No. Definitely not. I really like the flute bit. Uh, flute bit. Ooh. Well, you can change the volume of each instrument. I'm gonna go to the study room and work on art, and I'll, you know, time lapse that. I don't know, I'm gonna write some story, try to sketch some stuff. All of the sketches are gonna be total crap because I'm not putting time into them. I don't even know what the characters to look like right now. Hey everybody, so post uh, post recording editing Mark here. Um, I did a horrible job explaining my idea um, and what I was working on during this video just because you know, I was throwing so much new stuff at me, recording different parts. Um, being in the library was a huge thing. You'll hear how hesitant I was. I'll put in a voice clip in just a moment. Um, right here I'm just kind of working on sketching an overview of uh, the room and a moment I'll get to the character drawing. I lost a bunch of footage from that because my phone uh, the camera stopped recording. I'm not sure why. It was probably because of length, but um, the sketch just looks really bad. I was working with pen because I forgot my pencil, <laughs> um, but it was something, um, and I'll probably work on that stuff more off camera and just, you know, show more results on these devlogs. But anyway, yeah, so it's going to skip to here, uh, right there. I, don't know, I, was, I started complaining about it. I was bringing it into Photoshop to color it. Um, Anyway, I have yet to master time lapse. I'm gonna do voiceovers in the future. I think it's infinitely better and infinitely easier because I have more of a cohesive idea of what I want to say anyway. Uh, so without further ado, video is almost over. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. If you stuck around through this weird trip <laughs> of this, uh, I don't even know how I was making this. Anyway, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you at the end. All right, so I've got my room sort of. <laughs> Uh, again, just a sketch, but the perspective worked out kind of well. Uh, just a window in the back, just lamp here, bed. Um, there is going to be an imagination aspect to this um, because it's not, it can't really take place all in school. But, you know, you got to have an escalating environment for you know, a story or a game, especially. So, at least in my opinion, um, and what I've noticed in games, is there's always escalation. So, you know, a normal school environment. Uh, I just had a spontaneous idea, you know, this kind of like link, link between worlds, like a similar thing, like crap, it's got a world or whatever. Um, or something happens when you wake up in the room and that scene is totally different, uh, and all of a sudden these cracks are there, and that's how you get out, and the door doesn't exist, or something like that. Um, but this is just, you know, generic setup. You start here, some tutorial or something. It's pretty intuitive. You walk with WASD. Um, Maybe have an interact with the computer here so that you know forces you to walk near it, which forces it pop up to press out on E or something. Um, but you know, I'm not getting into technicalities. This video is going to be long enough. Uh, I was going to combine it with tomorrow's work, but you know, maybe I still will. Whatever. More time lapse, I guess.